movements of the wrist joint. The movement at the wrist joint might be augmented by additional smaller movements at the intercarpal and midcarpal joints. The movements of the wrist joints are flexion, extension, abduction, abduction, uh, which is the radial deviation, the ulnar deviation, right, and circumduction. The hand can be flexed on the forearm more than it can be extended. Those movements are accompanied by similar movements of the mid-carpal joint between proximal and distal rows of carpal bones. Adduction of the head is greater than abduction. Most, abdu most abductions occur at the wrist joint. The abduction from the neutral position occurs at the mid-carpal joint. Circumduction of the head consists of, ex of successive flexion, adduction, extension, and abduction. The muscles moving the wrist joint, the, is, uh, the flexion of the wrist is produced by the flexor carpi radialis and flexor carpi ulnaris with assistance from the flexors of the fingers and thumb and palmaris longers and APL. Also, the extension of the wrist is produced by the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis and extension carpi ulnaris with assistance from the extensors of the fingers and thumb. The abduction of the wrist is produced by the APL, the flexor carpi the radialis, and the extensor carpi radialis longus and brevis. The abduction is limited to approximately 50 degrees because of the projecting radial staloid process. The, ab the abduction of the wrist is produced by simultaneous contraction of extensor and flexor carpi ulnaris. The blood supply of the wrist joint, the arteries supplying the wrist joints are branches of the dorsal and palmar carpal arches. The innervation of the wrist joint, the nerves to the wrist joint are derived from the anterior interosseous branch of the medial nerve the posterior interosseous branch of the radial nerve and the dorsal and deep branches of the ulnar nerve. The intercarpal joints, the intercarpal joints interconnecting the carpal bones are plain synovial joints, which might be summarized as joint between the carpal bones of the proximal row, the joints between the carpal bones of the distal row, a complex joint the mid-carpal joints between the proximal and distal rows of carpal bones. The pisiform articulates with the palmar surface of the trachetrum to form a small joint. The uh, physocriquetral joint, the articular capsule of the intercarpal joints, a continuous common articular cavity is formed by the intercarpal and carpometacarpal joints with the exception of the carpometacarpal joint which is independent. The wrist joint is also independent. The continuity of the articular cavities of the lack of it is significant in relation to the spread of infection and also to arthroscopy in which a flexible fiber optic scope is inserted into the joint cavity to view its internal surfaces and features. The fibrous capsule surround these joints, which helps unite the carpals. The synovial membrane lines the fibrous capsule and is attached to the margins of the articular surface of the carpals. Ligaments of the intercarpal joints. The carpals are united by anterior, posterior, and interosseous ligaments. The movements of the intercarpal joint, a small amount of gliding movement is possible between the carpals. The movements at the intercarpal joint augments movements at the wrist joint, increasing the range of movements. The mid-carpal joint between the proximal and distal rows of carpals is mainly involved in flexion and abduction of the hand. 
The blood supply of the intercalpa joints, the artery supplying the intercalpa joints are derived from the dorsal and palmar carpal arches. The innervation of the intercalpa joints are supplied by the anterior interosseous branch of the median nerve and the dorsal and deep branches of the ulnar nerve. The carpometacarpal and intermetacarpal joints. These articulations are the plain type of synovial joint, except for the carpometacarpal joint uh, of the thumb, which is a sterile joint. Articulation of the carpometacarpal and intermetacarpal joints, like this, like the carpus, the metacarpus articulate with each other at their bases. The carpometacarpal joints of the thumb is between the trapezium and the base of the first carpal and has a se separate joint cavity. The articular capsule of the carpometacarpal and intermetacarpal joints, the medial four carpometacarpal joints and three intermetacarpal joints are enclosed by a fibrous capsule on the palmar and dorsal surface. The synovial membrane lines the fibrous capsule. The fibrous capsule of the metal of the carpal metacarpal joint of the thumb surrounds the joint and is attached to the margins of the articular surfaces. The synovial membrane lines the capsule. The looseness of the capsule facilitates free movement of the joint. Ligaments of the carpal metacarpal and intermetacarpal joints. The bones are united by anterior carpal metacarpal and metacarpal ligaments, as well as by the posterior and interosseous ligaments. The movement of the carpal metacarpal and intermetacarpal joints, flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, and circumduction, occurs at the carpal metacarpal joints of the thumb. This joint permits angular movements in any plane and a restricted amount of axial rotation. Almost no movement occurs at the carpal metacarpal joints of the second and third digits. The fourth digit is slightly mobile and the fifth digit is extremely mobile. This fifth carpal metacarpal joint flexes considerably during a, right, a tight crease and rotates slightly. The blood supply of the carpal metacarpal and intermetacarpal joints, these joints are supplied by dorsal and palmar metacarpal arteries and deep carpal and deep plantar arches. Innervation of the carpal metacarpal and intermetacarpal joints, these joints are supplied by the anterior interosseous branch of the medial nerve, posterior interosseous branch of the radial nerve, and dorsal and deep branches of the ulnar nerve, metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints. The metacarpophalangeal articulations are the condyloid type of synovial joint that permits movement into planes, flexion, extension, and adduction. Abduction. The interphalangeal articulations are the hinge type of synovial joint flexion extension only. The articulation of the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints, the head of the metacarpals articulate with the bases of the proximal phalanges in the metacarpophalangeal joints, and the head of the phalanges articulate with the bases of more distally located phalanges in the interphalangeal joints. The articular capsule of the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints. A fibrous capsule encloses each joint and a synovial membrane lines each fibrous capsule that is attached to the margins of each joint. The ligaments of the metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints. Each fibrous capsule is strengthened by two collateral ligaments that pass distally from the head of the metacarpal and phalanges to the bases of the phalanges. The collateral ligaments fuse to form the anterior part of each capsule 
which is a thick, dense fibrous or fibrocartilage nose plate, the palmar ligament, which is the plate the second through the fifth metacarpophalangeal joints are united by deep transverse metacarpal ligaments that holds the heads of the metacarpals together. Movements of the meto metacarpophalangeal and interphalangeal joints. Metacarpophalangeal joints flexion, extension, abduction, adduction, and circumduction of the second through the fifth digits. The flexion extension of the thumb of course, but adduction, abduction is limited. Interphalangeal joints, flexion, extension. The blood supply of the metacarpal and interphalangeal joints. Deep digital arteries that arise from the superficial palmar arches supply these joints. The innervation of the metacarpal and interphalangeal joints, the digital nerves that arise from the ulnar and median nerve supply these joints. Take a look at the joint in your atlas, the joints of the carpus and digits. On the lateral view, the hands, the lateral view, the left hand, right? And, and uh, take a look at the sagittal section of the wrist and hand during extension and flexion, right? Take a look at the extension, the articular disc, the lunate bone, right? Take a look at the extension, the third metacarpal bone on the, with respect to the carpometacarpal articulation, right? Take a, take a look at the dorsum and side of the hand and bones and muscles. And take a look at the palmar side, right? Take a look at the radius, the radiocarpal articulation, the intercarpal metacarpal articulation. Take a look at the capitate bone, right? Take a look at the flexion with respect of the carpometacarpal articulation, right? Take a look in your atlas, the articular sore faces of the wrist, the radiocarpal joints, the ligament of distal radio ulna, the radiocarpal, the intercarpal joints. Uh, take a look at the, um, the palmar radiocarpal ligaments passing from the radius to the two rows of carpal bones, right? Take a look at the ligaments, right? During supination, right? Take a look at the anterior view, right? And take a look at the, uh, uh, oh, where you can find uh, all the, all, uh, all the ligaments, right? The trichotin, the ulnar collateral ligament, right? And when you can take, uh, when you can take a look at the ligament border of the articular disc, when you can take a look at the distal process of the ulna, uh, when you can take a look at the trapezoid, right? Uh, the tubercule or scaphoid, where you can take a look at the capitate and a strong band, right? This is it, right, what we have in regards of the upper limb, right? And uh, this is this is everything. We are covering everything related with the upper arm, and uh, we are going to jump into the seventh chapter right here. And uh, where we are going to see, uh, right, the seventh chapter, which covers the head, right? And we're gonna see a very interesting uh, part, such as cranial meninges, the terrible palatine fossae, the temporal region, the brain, the, the skull, the skull, right? We're gonna really get into a very interesting uh, issues topics, right? 
that we will really enjoy uh, the chapter number seven. Let us just stop right here and, and uh, take a break and continue uh, in a little while.